six, but got my cup of tea. My office looks like a paper goblin and sneezed everywhere, so that's my first protocol today is uh, give it a bit of a tidy. Yeah, I don't really show off my office at all. This is what my office looks like uh, most of the time. This is currently the aftermath of doing a very large mail order. I would like to be able at some point to get a tiny bookshelf or something on that side up there. Most of my stuff lives in the doors behind me, and so whenever I need them, they come back out and eventually live on the desk. <sighs> and I got my Hoover ready. Hoover's ready. Oh yeah. I'm missing the casing for my ceiling fan. So if anyone comments on that. 2,000 years later. Alexa, what time is it? Three and a half hours of cleaning and organizing. You want to show us around? Go. Cool. Now you're gonna sit there and watch outside the door or window. Okay, bye. Anyways, welcome to my office. <laughs> chair that has a blanket on top of it. Uh, ooh, fancy. <laughs> um, I will show you what I'm hiding. I'll air my dirty laundry. Uh, it's literally dying. There's no padding, so it's very minimal now. But again, this has also been with me since I started doing artwork. And let's not talk about cable management. That's better. Let's hide my, uh, my atrocities. <laughs> so on my desk, I have a two monitor setup. This is a Dell. That one, the colors are everywhere. So you can see the massive difference between this is more warm and that's more cool looking. So that is for references only. And uh, if I'm doing anything on Twitch, um, I use that monitor. So whenever you see me look that way, it's that thing. Got a awesome keyboard that was a gift from a, a very incredible person. I have a slug and I've got my six quid lamp I got from Little. Well, I needed a key light for when I'm streaming on Twitch and I didn't want to go and buy an Elgato one because they're really expensive. So I just took that and a piece of white tissue paper and taped it on the top and the bottom and it works. Uh, these are some of my Etsy packing items, more Etsy stuff and uh, my Bristol board, a pencil case and a space for tape. My Tiki, one of my Tikis. That is my box of stickers. There's a stitch, a picture that Heart Lily did that I love, and my sewing machine and random packing supplies is back there. So that's excess packing supplies, which is nice that it's behind. So when I'm down here, I don't see it. You've got my camera that I'm using, which is a Canon EOS 1100D. Um, it's not fancy. It's not a vlogging camera. It is literally a hijacked DSLR that my husband had that I've permanently borrowed. Um, and I use that as a webcam for Twitch streaming. So it's nicer looking than a normal webcam is. I have a tiger that has testicles, a tiki-ish tissue box stuff, journaling book, where a bunch of art stuff goes in that one. And then this is what I'm working on at the moment. This is stuff that I had to do yesterday, today, and throughout the week. I'm working on this book, read that, still need to read it again because it didn't stick. That is a cutter. Those are cool. This is what I keep all my vegetable notes in, which sounds strange. Um, I garden. Um, so this is like my little cheat sheet of what's worked and what hasn't. So that is there. Up top, I have an art piece that I did for my husband. So this was a gift to him. And then I have a badge that Heart Lily made me of my character Boba and another one that she made of Boba. Uh, on an A4 piece. And up top, 
Um, you may not have ever heard of someone named David Garibaldi. If you have, you're cool. He's actually someone that went to the rival high school uh, to where I went. He literally throws paint onto the canvas and can make imagery and he signed it for me. Of which there's little marks on there. So my son had seen this and thank goodness it was in the uh, this plasticky bit and took Copic pens and drew on that when he was little. So I've never wanted to get rid of them. I've kept them up there so I have his little prints on there too. This is my husband's side. We don't talk about my husband's side. Right, okay, I'll air the dirty laundry. He literally jump starts his PC and I can stick my hand in there. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, I'm not wealthy enough to get you a new computer because I, I still need to upgrade mine because mine's not very good either. <laughs> but this is a PAX wardrobe that I got that was secondhand. Um, my larger printer is in this as well as um, my paper stocks and uh, various other supplies because I do um, merchandise printing as well so that is what these are and I really don't want to open that because it's full of stuff and we'll ignore that you know. My Etsy and patron mailing gear is down there, which is all the bags that go to the post office. So these are for when I'm taking photographs of different things uh, for Etsy. So I wanted different colors, blues, pinks, and uh, like the wood grains. So that's kind of the, the way I want my brand Timberwilla to go. Then we have this. This is also a secondhand unit. A lot of my furniture in this house is secondhand and I'm cool with it because I don't necessarily need brand new things. Um, I have better things that finances can go towards. This was from someone here on the estate who was also a crafter and she had two here and then two on that side. So that's why this is so long and her desk uh, space was basically right here in the middle. But uh, because of the shape of this room, there's nowhere else I can cram anything. So that's why it's here, but I needed something where I could easily grab things because for ages all the stuff that was here was just on the desk and I literally couldn't do anything. I've got a NAS drive which we got from Zevian and he is awesome. My Fatsia Japonica which is one of my favorite plants. I've got one out in the garden that is getting bigger and this one's my little house one. These were from Steffi so Gigi does light up and I have a Gigi print. Then in here, these are bits and pieces of um, mailing and then I have samples and stuff in here. So for some of the things that I do, I've got like different sample packs. So that is more for if I need something to reference, I have places I can grab it. This is one of my sketchbooks, my A4, so that's the big one. Two books that I love uh, looking through for inspiration. Uh, Heroes and Heroines and uh, I Heart Kawaii, both good books. A A5 version of the same sketchbook and then I have two sketchbooks that I'm currently using. Uh, this one is for one of the businesses that is being set up that I'm not the owner of. Um, so all of their concept art goes into this one. And then this one is my personal one where if you are on my Instagram, which is Timberwillow Art, um, you'll see the pages uh, posted up of that one, which is really cool. Yep, more stuff, islandy stuff. I'm learning macrame, strangely. Um, I'm not very good at it, so let's ignore the... Yeah, yeah, let's ignore those. Um, this is our wedding lays. That one was mine and that was my husband's and I wanted to put them up and finally hang them somewhere. So my office is going a bit more islandy themed. And then we've got what is in these. So there are two of them that I will not open. One is that one, and then one is that one. So I'll explain why in a second. Office. Look at all that nice office stuff, where I think most people have drawers that will probably look like this. <laughs> I've got cutter things. I've got random tape measures and rulers, little corner choppy choppy things. A miniature stapler which this isn't miniature but the staples are so that's really good for doing packaging and that this is one of my paper cutters I have three but this one's my favorite currently um, and then this is stuff that I use for
for my monthly patrons because I do a metal trading card every month. So that is that one. And then other random cuttery supplies and that. That looks like a murder scene, so I'm not gonna open it. Uh, this is my wrapping station. So wrapping, these are cello bags that I don't really have a use for at the moment. I'm swapping all my cello bags from normal plastic like these to biodegradable, uh, recyclable and compostable versions. So, so I've got my signature fuchsia tissue paper. Down here is sparse. I'm waiting for a order to arrive this afternoon, which is more envelopes and more supplies for doing my um, patron packs and my sticker packs for uh, Etsy and stuff. I've got my gray board in here. The board is to keep, even though this is a card backed envelope, the gray board helps protect it so you can't really bend it. So it's like an extra um, piece of cardboard for extra rigidity. Mailing station area. I have A4 mailers that are card backed. I have uncard backed normal envelopes. I've got padded envelopes, which are in one of the boxes behind me because there's tons of them. These are for garments. And then these are my various size mealing bags. I have bright pink and a ton of them. And that one, that's an A3, so I suppose a C3 version. And then these would be a C4 version. And I've color coded them, so I know which one I'm picking. Up top here, I have more random office supplies. This one is my tape and glue drawer. So packing materials. So I have probably a glue or a tape for most situations. <laughs> this is basically just cleaning supplies. Um, this is what I'm usually into just to keep the desks tidy and clean. Yeah, antibacterial stuff um, and a lot of bags. <laughs> and then this is the last drawer I will open because this is all my nose wire stuff and I would prefer just to keep that shut. One of the fun drawers. So in here you have wooden things to draw on. I have Prismacolor pencils, I have watercolors, I have a very old set of Copic markers that I ended up getting for an absolute steal because Amazon messed up. And like findings, I've got pens, cute MDF things, these are stickers I made, a drawing set that was my husband's and he never uses, more watercolors, and a ton of crafting paper. So I've got different craft paper in here. I've got things like that, which I, I was buying these for badges, but I prefer printing my backings now. So. That is currently my office space. So whenever I'm talking to you on the internet, uh, this is where I'm sitting when I do so. But I enjoy it. I love my little office and it's not elaborate, it's not really Instagrammable in comparison to most people's, but at the moment it is clean. And I mean that as in usually there's mailing stuff everywhere and I've finished all my mailing yesterday and my next mailing isn't due to go out until tomorrow, so I don't have to do that until tomorrow morning, which is all right. I'll give you a view, this is from my point of view. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little tour. Uh, I know it's fairly long and I think most of them are. Um, I might edit it down a little bit depending. You know, I, I want to be able to be a person here on YouTube that will show you what things are actually like. So I do try to keep everything wiped down at the very least so that um, my desk space is clean. Um, it's usually just paper and mailing supplies that is um, everywhere that usually is what explodes. I love what I get to do for a living and I love being able to have some sort of creative area to work in where my commute is literally from there. I can't complain. I can wear whatever I want too. There's a lot of good things that come with being a artist and crafter that works from home and actually some negatives as well. So if that's something you want me to dive into in a future video in the pros and the cons of being a self-employed illustrator, crafter, artist, um, I'd be happy to go into that. So if you have any questions, leave them down below for me and I can always compile something for you. If you want to stick around and keep me company and help influence what I am doing as an artist, 
I would love for you to hit the subscribe button. That still feels weird to say. Subscribe!